Hi girls and boys, Reggie Rue here. Today we're looking at a mighty snowplow. It scrapes and scratches all the snow and ice off the road, so it's safe for cars to drive. Here comes a big orange snowplow. Can you name the parts of the snowplow? Yes, that's the pointy snowplow at the front. A cabin for the driver and plow operator. Powerful lights and bright flashing orange lights to warn everyone and drive in any conditions. Big wheels with chains for grip. And there's another long plow on the side. Let's follow a snow plow in action. Along the road and through the tunnel. As it goes, salt and grit is sprayed out of the back. This stops the road from getting icy and slippery. Aren't snow plows wonderful vehicles? Hooroo! Hi kids, Reggie Roo here. Have you seen snow before? In the winter, when it gets very cold, sometimes it snows, and sometimes it snows lots and lots. Fluffy white snow falls from the sky. It falls all over the house, trees and roads. Look, there is so much snow. But where's the road? How are we gonna drive? We better clean up that snow. We could use a shovel. Or maybe a front end loader with bright lights could push it around. Or perhaps we should use a snow blower. This man is pushing a small snow blower to clear his driveway. The blades spin around and suck up the snow. And then the blower spits out the snow to the side. Here's a much bigger blower. And along comes a dump truck. The dump truck is helping collect the snow. It's great to work as a team. They get the job done much faster together. Hooroo! Hi kids, Reggie Roo here. Today, we're going to a ski resort. Would you like to see what happens at a ski resort? A ski resort is a place high in the mountains where people go skiing and snowboarding. High above the resort, we can see that the mountain and trees are covered in snow. Can you see the ski runs between the trees? There are lots of things that go at a ski resort. Like this snowmobile. It's like a motorbike that can ride on snow. That's clever. To get to the top of the mountain, you can catch a gondola or a ski lift. It's a good view from up here. Careful when you get off. Now it's time for the fun bit. Using your skis, you can slide down the hill. Swoosh, swoosh. Here comes mom on a snowboard. It's fun to ski in a big group with your friends. Coming through, says the ski racer. He zigzags through the gates. At the end of the day, out comes the snow groomer. The groomer drives up and down the ski runs all night. This makes the runs nice and smooth. Ready for another day of fun. Hooroo! Hi girls and boys, Reggie Roo here. Can you think of 10 red machines? Here are my 10 favorite red machines. At 10, we have a big red double-decker bus.
driving through town. Number nine is a shiny red motorbike. Eight is a little red snowblower clearing away snow. Seven, bright red helicopters are very cool. The rotor blades spin very fast. Six, underground trains for red nose and red doors. Five, some super duper tractors are red too. Four, and so are speedy red quad bikes. Whoosh! Three, red planes fly high in the sky. Two, red cars can be really fast. Finally, one, everyone's favorite red machine is a fire truck. <laughs> Did you like my favorite red machines? Can you think of any others? Huru. Hi girls and boys, Reggie Roo here. Can you think of any machines that are yellow? What about a yellow cab? The bright yellow cabs stand out amongst all the other cars. They are easy to spot for the passengers. This is handy for construction vehicles too. There are huge yellow dump trucks working in mines. Yellow diggers scooping up dirt. And yellow loaders pushing dirt around. Yellow backhoes love to dig. Big, strong yellow bulldozers are really tough. Tractors on cars can be yellow too. And some fast cars are yellow. Bright yellow school buses are also easy to see. That's why they have flashing lights. Do you like the color yellow? Isn't yellow great? Can you think of any other yellow machines? What about a cool yellow helicopter flying in slow motion? Huru! Hi girls and boys, Reggie Roo here. Have you seen a helicopter before? I have. And aren't they magnificent? Did you know, helicopters have lots of funny nicknames. Chopper, Copter, Heli, or even Whirlybird. Here is a red Whirlybird in the snow. The rotor blades spin very fast. This lifts the Whirlybird into the air. From high in the air, you can see lots of wonderful sights. You can see the ocean, 
towns. Cities with skyscrapers. Helicopter pads. Rivers, lakes, mountains. Deserts. And animals. Helicopters are great for rescuing people in trouble. This is because, like a plane, they are fast. But they can also land almost anywhere. In a stadium, perhaps. Or a car park. The President of the United States of America has their own helicopter. It's a big green chopper called Marine One. Would you like to have your own helicopter too? Hooroo! Hi girls and boys, Reggie Roo here. Trucks. Glorious trucks. Do you know what a truck is? Truck is the name used for lots of different vehicles. A truck can be slightly bigger than a car. Huge, like a mining dump truck. Or really, really long, like a road train truck. Generally, a truck is a strong vehicle that carries all kinds of goods. They could carry liquids and gases, like this tanker truck. Or lots of large wooden logs, like on the back of this semi-trailer truck. Here comes a heavy construction truck carrying a digger. Smaller trucks can be used to tow things, like a caravan trailer. And dump trucks are good for carrying dirt, rocks, or rubble. Some trucks have special equipment attached. Fire trucks have tools, ladders, and hoses. While garbage trucks have compactors to squash the trash. Concrete mixers have a spinning drum. This keeps the concrete from drying. Did you know, in some countries, they call trucks lorries. Now you know that the word truck can be used to describe lots of different tough vehicles. Hooroo! Hi girls and boys. Reggie Roo here. What is a car that can go almost anywhere? Over rocks, across deserts, and even through snow. It's a four wheel drive. Four wheel drives are bigger than a regular car. They have larger, wider wheels, which have great grip on rough, bumpy surfaces. And 
All four wheels are powered by the engine. That's why it's called a four-wheel drive. Each wheel grips, pulls, and pushes at the same time. That's why these big vehicles can take you off the road. Through the amazing countryside. Down beaches. Or through a creek. These drivers are being very careful. Oops, watch out. That was close. These four wheel drives are amazing. Wouldn't it be great fun to go exploring in a four wheel drive? Hi girls and boys, Reggie Roo here. Did you know a front end loader is actually a type of tractor, just like the backhoe loader. They usually have big wheels. They have a large bucket on the front, which is great for pushing material around, like this dirt. Or scooping it up, then dropping the dirt into the back of a truck. This loader is dropping grain out of the bucket. Some loaders can be really large, and some are much smaller. They can also be used for lots of different jobs. The bucket can be removed. Now the loader can pick up hay. Or the bucket can be replaced with a snow plow attachment so the loader can scrape snow off the road. This loader is removing the snow from the driveway and road. Can you see the chains on the wheels? This is so they don't slip in the snow and ice. The loader pushes the snow into a big pile. Now the cars can get out and drive on the road safely. The loaders work late into the night. Thanks, Mr. Loader. Hooroo! Hi, girls and boys. Reggie Roo here. What is a truck that is really big has flashing lights, makes loud noises, and is maybe just a little bit smelly. It's a garbage truck. And here comes one now. But what does a garbage truck do? That's right. The garbage truck is collecting trash to take to the dump. It automatically loads the garbage into the back of the truck. From the side. Or from the back. compactor goes down and squashes the trash deep into the truck. Impressive.
Once at the dump, the tailgate lifts and the compressor pushes the trash out. Wow. That's a big pile of trash. Remember to recycle. That way, there'll be less trash next time. Hooroo! Hi boys and girls, Reggie Roo here. What is a boat that has an engine? A motorboat has an engine. A motorboat is also called a speedboat or a powerboat. The engine of a motorboat powers the propeller, which spins around and drives the boat forward. Some speedboats can go very fast, like this racing speedboat. On this boat, the engine is an outboard motor. The rudder steers the boat left and right. It is controlled by the captain of the boat. Can you see the captain is carefully steering the boat? Isn't that impressive? The boat rocks and rolls with the bumps on the sea. Motorboats can be used for lots of things. They're great for fishing. or perhaps to take someone water skiing or wakeboarding. Motorboats can come in all sizes. Some mega yachts are so big that they can cross oceans. That would be an adventure. Hooroo! Hi girls and boys, Reggie Roo here. There is one machine that you probably see every day. It's a car. A car has a big engine, doors, a body, and four wheels with rubber tires. Inside, there are seats with seat belts to keep everyone safe. And the steering wheel for the driver controls where the car goes. Did you know? There are lots of different types of cars. There are electric cars that run on electricity instead of petrol. Look, it plugs in, just like a toaster at home. There are small compact cars with hatchbacks. Sedans are bigger and have a boot. Station wagons are similar, but with extra room at the back. There are four-wheel drives that are great for going off-road. That looks like fun. Sports cars are fast. And vans are strong, but slow. There are yellow taxis and black cabs if you need a lift. Cars come in lots of colors. There are blue cars, white cars, yellow cars, and even green cars. Cars really do come in all shapes, sizes, and colors. Hooroo! Hi boys and girls, Reggie Roo here. What is a machine that can go under the water? 
It's a submarine. A submarine is a watercraft, like a ship, that can operate underneath the waves. They're used in the Navy and for undersea exploration, research, and salvage missions. Submarines can remain submerged for months on end. They generally have a tower. This holds the periscope, which the captain can use to see above the water. Isn't that clever? Submarines also have foreplanes and tailplanes for steering. Tanks, which can be used to make the sub go up and down. And a propeller to propel the submarine forward. This is powered by an engine. Some submarines can have over 100 people working on board. There are also tiny submarines that are called midget submarines. They can have a crew as small as one or two. Would you like to explore the deep ocean in a submarine? Wouldn't that be fun? Hooroo! Good day. It's Reggie Roo here. I'm so excited. Today, we get to see a street cleaner. And there's the street cleaner, brushing the pavement. In front of him, a man keeps the footpath wet with water from a yellow hose. The cleaner uses super hot water. Can you see the steam coming up? Here comes the man with the hose again. The brush lifts up so the cleaner can reverse back to the beginning and start again. Down go the spinning brushes. Can you see them spin? The brushes and hot water get into all the nooks and crannies, removing all the icky dirt from the footpath. The cleaner huffs and puffs while he works. Leaving the city square clean for everyone to enjoy. Hi girls and boys, Reggie Roo here. Do you like trains? Today we have lots and lots of trains. Keep an eye out though. If you're lucky, you might just spot me.
Voss og Bergen fra spor 1 er klar til avgang. Q.
Hi, kids. Did you see me? Huru. Good day, girls and boys. Reggie Roo here. It looks like we're at a building site today. Aren't we lucky? And what's that? It's a large orange forklift. The builders in their bright protective clothing are attaching something to the forks. It's a blue lifting eye attachment. It's to help the forklift pick something up. What do you think it will lift today? Can you see the red chain hanging down? They're attaching the chain to a big blue bin full of rubbish. Wow! The bin swings on the chain. The forklift huffs and puffs, slowly lifting the heavy bin. The driver carefully maneuvers the bin above an even bigger skip bin. The arm extends out. and lowers to squash down the rubbish in the skip bin. Now they tilt the bin so all the rubbish falls out. Isn't that smart? The arm then extends out again and the bin is lowered back on the ground. Crunch! The builder undoes the chain, and off goes the forklift, ready for the next job. Hooroo! To see more things that go, click on the videos above, and don't forget to subscribe!